Hi, Emmanuel here with T2S Transformed to Succeed. In this brief video, I'm going to discuss the overview. I'm going to give you an overview of what we call the Amazon Kinesis. This is a, this is a, a tool that Amazon has, uh, and they call it Kinesis. It's it's a it's a very a very powerful tool, which allows you to ingest uh, ingest real time data, like you know information and the, 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 the data and what's happening, and this may have to do with people using your application, people using your uh, your website people accessing any resources or any products online and and the service helps your company ingest or take in or intake all of that data real times so the key point here is to say it's real time uh, data it, it's real time data ingestion and so it ingests the data and and processing so it processes also the data so it process it processes the data and also it can analyze you know analyze the all of the data that you ingest or the service uh, that takes in, so it's gonna analyze it. It's it's gonna process. It's gonna ingest the data. So there's ingestion, there's processing, and there is also analysis of your data. Meaning that you're talking about three components here that also AWS offer offers. So you have Kinesis, you have Kinesis data streams. And the next one is Kinesis, <clears throat> Kinesis data uh, file horse, file host, not horse. So you have the you have file host. It's like a host, you know, water channels uh, channels through a host like coming in and and lastly you have they used to have kinesis uh, anal analytics but now they use uh, they use apache they use apache apache flink so these are the components it's kind of like the life cycle whenever you want to uh, to, to, to process, you know, collect uh, data, uh, real-time data, and then you have you, you want to process all of that data and deliver that data stream or the, those data streams into a place where you can analyze them, visualize them, and that's the, that's the process here. So you, you're talking about these th uh, three things. So you have the streams, data streams, you have data file host, host file host, I would say, and then you have the Apache flank here, and all of these they play the roles that um uh, that I just described in my previous uh, you know the previous you know, at this point here ingestion processing and analyzing, so then this is the ingestion. Uh, 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 component so this is the service that you need to use to ingest the data and this one here it's to process processing and then the other one will be to analyze and that would be analyzing pretty much this is this is the whole concept this is the whole concept but i'm gonna take you to to the management console here and remember, this is not a demo on how you, you can use this. It's going to be a short video. It's intended to be a short video. 
just to give you the the the, the key uh, the key concepts here and then w- one or two other things that i want you to remember there's uh one other thing that i want you to remember there's there's also there's also a, a uh, you can use also Kinesis uh, video stream. So th- that's that's another tool that uh, uh, Amazon provides. So you have uh, the, these three are mostly for data, and then you can still use uh, uh, the video streams to ingest whatever. Uh, data that you need to store. So, so you have those here, um, and then uh, the other thing that I want you to uh, remember uh, to keep in mind is, uh, so this is how the whole thing uh, would work. I'm gonna share this here quick before we go to the management console. So how you can use it, how to use it, how to use kinesis. How do I use kinesis? Number one, step number one, you're going to have to set up, you have to set up a data stream. And this is where you use the kinesis data stream. So you're going to have to go to the console, and then you set up the data stream. And number two, you're gonna ingest the data. You're gonna ingest the data. And number three, you're gonna process your data. And number four, number four, this is where you scale plus monitor. This is where you scale and plus monitor so pretty much this is uh this is how you this is how you do it this is how you do it so how to use how to use kinesis so number one you set up a data stream number two you ingest the data number three you process the data and four scale and monitor that's it yeah that's that's everything that's a high level overview of how Kinesis works on AWS. Let's go to the management console here quick. So, all right. So, we, we, we here, uh, what you have to do, you just go here to the search and search for Kinesis. You're going to see all of this here. So, click on the Kinesis. This is where you create your data. All right, this is where you create the data. And then you see here that we have we have the three things here. You can, you remember, first we have to collect, to collect our streaming data, right? So that's, that's where we need to start. And then, then this is, this is, a, this is like a, how it goes, how it works, so the process. So you're going to use the data streams to collect and store your data streams, right? And then after doing that, then you can use the data file host to do what? To process and deliver the data. And (coughs) if you get to the point, excuse me, you get the point of analyzing after you have collected your data, then you can process and analyze. And this is what AWS is recommending to use the Apache Flink. Uh, so you, that's pretty much what you need to know about that. When, when, when it comes to benefits, uh, here you see the benefits here. You can read those, uh, on your own. Here you have use cases. So the beauty with Amazon and, and all the other cloud computing platforms such as, uh, Azure, uh, Google and the others, they, they provide good documentation you just have to re find those uh, uh pieces of documentation and then go through them uh, uh, to make sense of whatever you want to use uh, from that specific cloud computing platform so let's say we want to click here create a, a data stream you can give it a name here uh let's say demo 
and you can either do the capacity mode data stream capacity uh and and here you have more information of uh the write and read you know when you, you create uh, you have a data uh base so you have two things you have write and read uh, to write that's the uh, the data that comes into your 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 storage or whatever you're using for uh, as as your database so that's to write information coming in or data coming in and then to read it's you the user you can you you want to see what you have in there or you can allow another resource to access your database to read whatever has been stored on your database uh, 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 resource so th this is what you do you just follow this and and i'm gonna just create this to show you what's 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 happening and then it, it may take up to see here up to 10 minutes because what it does uh there should be uh you know there should be a place here that we see what we're creating uh hold on this is applications uh so you're gonna you're gonna have to you're gonna have to wait until uh it's done so you this is the menu this is a tab the menu tab you have data viewer uh you have the configuration tab here to configure your write capacity read capacity and stuff like that uh, uh the data stream sharing here and event bridge pipes uh, I, I will not go into more details because that and again this is not a demo to show you how to use it but but to understand the the architecture and and then how this uh uh this works and then here it's saying it's uh it's already active uh <clears throat> If you go back to the dashboard here, you see you have your data streams here. Then you need to have your data hosts and to kind of like uh, process whatever data that you ingest. And then uh, then you have the, the, the flink here, which will allow you to uh, analyze your uh, analyze your data. So you can do that uh, uh, here if you want to create another uh, data stream uh, this is uh, uh if you want to create an, another one you can do the same there uh, 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 just follow the steps that i showed you on how to do it click here and then this is where you have your dash this is your dashboard you can uh, and this is where you can configure uh, uh your 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 data uh, stream here your, fir your first one you can manage the tags you can encrypt this is a server side encryption and you can enable or disable this and then at uh, this point it's 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 disabled and this is wh where you click uh, where you go to see uh, the pricing it will be pricey and and then here you have resources like uh, cloud formation templates so it's a template to that you can uh, you can leverage to set up your entire uh, infrastructure so i'm gonna go back here and uh and then we're gonna just uh, stop here uh and again this is not that like uh, we we want to learn the full uh uh the, the 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 full resource here but but there's good documentation you can read uh that if you want to go a little bit deeper and we're, we're gonna incorporate this into a project that we work on um uh, here at t2s creating an app a tracking app for a company it's, it could be like uh, something like an uber company or a rental uh, company car rental company 
So they want uh, whatever you rent, a car or anything from them, they they want to track uh, their products or, or or car or something like that. So and even a school can do that. They can use uh, uh, this the same application to track the buses or school vehicles and stuff like that. And this is the pretty much <clears throat> the end of our of our, of all of this uh, of this video uh, showing uh, trying to give you I mean not trying but giving you a high level overview of how you can use kinesis and and also what is kinesis so that's that that that, that was the that uh, the, the reason why I made this video so thank you so much for for watching I hope I'll see you in the next one uh, God bless you